Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeLaw.com and this is my pre-market game plan for the major future indices, gold and oil for today, Thursday, December 1st, uh, and it is 9.14 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to start with YM. Last night we had a webinar and uh, we discussed YM, we reviewed charts, and I mentioned the fact that if we trade above 19,150, we're going to push higher, which we did. So overnight price action, uh, uh, took price higher to a high of 19,165, and this was at midnight, uh, came back down, and uh, we did have some uh, economic releases overnight. We did have China PMI, um, took the price back lower into 1 a.m., consolidated here, no surprise, at 120, and then price pushed back up. So uh, my traders know that this is the area to buy at 19,120. And then again, the price pushed higher, um, actually broke above this prior high at 19,166, and it's just going on track it's going to 175 this is actually one of our first target the 175 area so what's gonna uh, how should we trade this New York session so as we're coming into the New York session I'm gonna bring uh, I'm gonna bring up the five minute chart right here so we are a little extended to the upside as of right now but right now we are still testing the support area at 19163 so moving forward watch for a pullback into the 150 area if we get a pullback into the 150 area this is buyable okay so this is buyable uh the stop um i would consider a stop at the low of the pivot so wait for the price to retrace see where it stops see where it pivots and then take that entry take that entry at 50 and place your stop below that pivot that forms at the open okay so that's the way you should trade this um, YM into today. So right now I'm going to go back to the early chart. In terms of targets, 180 and 200 is going to be your target. Go for uh, 19 uh, 215 uh, and then go for 19 to 20 if we're going to get another push higher. Don't forget, daily charts a little bit extended, but we're still pushing higher. NQ is the weakest one and continue to uh, to bleed throughout the night, making a new low at 48.05. Remember that 4,800 is a hefty support area for it. And as long as it looks very bearish, it looks kind of bearish onto the daily chart. I'm going to put the daily chart right here to show exactly what I'm looking at. So it looks a little bearish. We are getting some kind of continuation uh, compared to yesterday's low. Uh, the fact that we made a new low at 48.05. We are sitting still on some kind of support here. We have uh, we have 4,800 uh, as support from these uh, prior lows right here. But we also have the 20 period. <clears throat> excuse me. We also have the 20 period moving average uh, that is curling up right here, and that's due to the force of price carrying it higher into the 40 close to 40. 900 area so this is going to be a good testing area so for today i will be bullish on nq only if it trades above 48.29 so this is going to be my line in the sand so i'm not going to make any aggressive trades right off the open up but if we break above uh, 48.29 48.30 that's where i'm going to look for a potential buy as of right now it looks like we're still uh and obviously the stop will have to be uh, below this low right here of 48. So it's going to be a little bit of a wider stop right here. So a, a tighter stop in NQ is just going to wiggle you out. Targets, obviously, they're going to be into uh, the 50 and uh, into the 80s, upper 80s and 90s. And then again, if we're going to get a real strong push higher, we're going to see 19, uh, 49.19. So going back to the hourly chart, like I said, you know, we need to clear this pivot high in order to have some kind of confirmation that the price is ready to continue higher. Um, if we don't get that confirmation, I'm not go. I'm not interested in trading. Uh, I'm not interested in trading in Q, but I would rather rather trade with YM. So here's the game plan. Percentage wise, NQ is barely into the green, leading with 0.01%, uh, and YM is already stronger, leading with 0.19%. So what this tells me is that we're going to get some push to the upside, and we're going to develop uh, strength throughout the morning, especially throughout the first two trading hours in which we will be trading. Um, 
I will uh, look for continuation patterns in YM, meaning higher. So I'm going to look for higher in YM. And if we weaken, I'm going to continue looking at NQ for possible shorts. So shorts into NQ, but I'm not going to short until I have proof that NQ can break 4,800. That's going to be my my short area other than that i'm going to do nothing in nq so nq needs to break the 4800 area and show me that it can stay below the 4800 area develop resistance at that point for me to take it short other than that so why i am long they are not synchronized and then uh, nq for relative weakness one more es and this is another indice um, that uh, I'm watching and I'm liking so far. Um, it is stronger, leading with 0.16%. Um, and it, it, it's developing some kind of strength. It's running into this uh, former cluster that was developed into last week, uh, since last Friday. So we are, if you see it here, if I bracket it, this is, this is very much sideways. Uh, we pulled a little below this sideways range, and now we are into another sideways, small sideways area right here. So this cluster. So this cluster is going to be uh, our workspace uh, for today. Um, and uh, we have support at uh, 21.95, and we have resistance at 22.02. So the way I see it right now is that you need to see the price continue, continuing higher. So uh, this is going to be the area between 22.01 and 22.03. So let the price trigger a little higher, let it pull back, and then it can continue higher, possibly higher into 22, uh, 22, 10, 22, 13. I'm not going to short ES, so ES is not going to be on my short list. Remember that if I want to short something, I'm going to go to YM. Last but not least, I'm including something else into the mix today, and this is uh, the Russell 2000 and Mini that has been weak. So we have two weak two week ones tf and nq and don't forget one thing tf is strong on the day although it had relative weakness throughout the first two three trading days uh it's strengthening because it's leading with 4.41 percent guess what guys it's the strongest one on the block so what that means is that it's pushing through this resistance at 13.27 and uh, if we get a consolidation here, we might continue higher into 1330, 1332. Right off the bat, my favorite remains YM. Last but not least, GC, we're going to talk about this weakness. It's still very, very weak. I think it's going to continue uh, bleeding into the 1150 area. So nothing on the day trade uh, uh, perspective for it. And uh, CL is just making a run, just made it to 51 bucks. We had a session yesterday and I was asked what is my bias for CL at that point. It was very, very early. Uh, it was very early right here. Uh, and uh, like I mentioned, you guys, I only look at one candlestick at a precise time frame and I know how to determine that, uh, how to determine whether uh, we're gonna have, a, uh, we're gonna have um, an up day, a down day or a sideways day. So I sat right off the bat, I looked and I, no it's not the hourly that I'm looking at so um, right off the bat I've mentioned in the room the fact that I'm very bullish and I've mentioned the fact that I see it continuing to 50 to 51 and 52 area pullbacks viable in CL uh, this was all for today thank you so much for joining don't forget to um, uh, follow me on Twitter it is twitter.com slash Anka Metcalf for uh, more trading signals throughout the uh, trading month and also we have a class uh, last class of the year and definitely with the best deal of the year we reserve for the last class uh, starts on December 10th through December 16th so two comprehensive days on the 10th and 11th from uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time till 4 p.m. Eastern time um, including five days of trading lamp you get to trade with me and we get to put into practice what, are, what we have learned in those two days. So it's a seven-day power income, day trading and swing trading class. Contact me, info at tradeallout.com to find out more details about the class. Uh, and for those of you that have attended uh, the class last night, remember uh, the free webinar. Remember, I will be sending out the recording shortly. So thank you so much for joining. Have a very profitable trading day and see you tomorrow.